Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here on our single player world. Today, we are going to be stepping away a little bit from this uh, area that we've been doing here with our market stuff and uh, just in general with uh, standard house or building building. We are going to be kind of walking away from that and doing something else for a little bit, which I think will be a nice little change and it's something that is going to challenge me in terms of my building in some weird way, which is, which is great. That's a good thing. I just want to quickly step back here. This is something I thought was really, really cool. Uh, and man, we don't have any ender pearls. From here, this should should be able to show you. Look at how interesting this looks, where I've got this normal roof that we do. Like, that's pretty much our normal design. But then we've kind of taken the door back and put it on the side like that with a little kink out the side there. I love it. Look at it. It's just looking so interesting. Different to the way we normally do. Uh, I don't know. I just thought I'd show you guys. I thought that was really, really cool. Uh, that is pretty much what we're gonna do. In fact, before we get going on our next thing today, uh, I want to quickly do something because right here, uh, we've got these things filling up really, really quickly. Okay, so to solve the problem of this area here filling up too much, I've decided to go and do a little bit of changing around here with a bit of cactus. And as soon as items come over here, in fact, I'm probably gonna fall into that cactus at some stage. But as soon as the items come here and this hopper is filled up, that hopper's filled up, Nothing will get picked up and the items will drop down onto the cactus and it won't like clog up our world with a bunch of items lying around here. So if I do that, I think that should be alright and we'll just block up this one in here. In fact, we might just block up everything to make sure we don't get any spawns in there, which is ideal. <laughs> Definitely ideal. And we don't need those. We all have to put them like that. And you wouldn't even know we were in there. Is everything looking alright from there? That's alright. And then, oh, I actually, I broke this thing. So let me replace that, that in there. Can I, I can get in there, in there. And one of these right around there. Perfect. Now we can get going on our project for today, which is in here. As I said, I want to take a step away from the market area, but it still is kind of in the market area. And I started digging down. All right. So I was just losing my voice. I'm back. And uh, what I was thinking, what I was going to say is we are going to be building ourselves a little bit of an underground uh, cavern, I guess, where a bunch of mushrooms and stuff grow. And it's just going to be kind of a bit, like, uh, enchanted looking, I think, is the um, is the way I could describe it. So what I want to do here is I want to build a little, like, way down here, a secret way down. So this is, this is all a secret thing that's going on here. So I want to build, like, a little thing where we will come down here with a ladder from this shop. It'll be somewhat hidden, I assume. And this will come... Oh, okay, that's... Uh, oh, actually, I forgot to show you guys. Let me quickly do this. I was meaning to show you guys this in the last episode. Uh, if we go down here, this will be good. So, in this area, I've gone ahead and made a path all the way around. So there's our flower shop. We go around here. We've got a path connecting all the way around, and this is area for shops. So we've got spaces to do things. Which is, um, which is good, so we don't have to clear that out in the end, uh, any at any time a bit later. So now, back to this. I want to make a natural, it's going to be natural, of course. This natural looking cavern down here with a, uh, a few little uh, mushrooms and stuff growing. And some really dull light. I want the light to be quite dull. Uh, but that means we're going to have to go and also get some other stuff. Which means we're going to do some biome exploring for the one biome that I am amazed I have not gone to yet. And I uh, have gone ahead... Looked up the coordinates for it, and we're going to be doing a little trip to there in um, in some time. If you guys can guess the biome, I'm sure it's pretty easy to guess. Uh, but what I want to do now is I want to collect a bit of, well, not collect, I want to clear out a bit of this land over here. And then I'm going to start doing some stairs, which are like natural formed stairs. So basically, going down here, we're going to clear out a, a larger area, like a tunnel basically, going down into a large open area where we're going to have a bunch of mushrooms and just make it look kind of uh, magical and a little bit natural as well. Then the other idea I had with this, which is, I think, pretty damn cool, which a lot of people will not know about because we don't do stuff in this place too much, but I do mention them from time to time, and those are the tunnels underneath the city because we decided, let's create another layer above. So we've got this layer on the above. We've also got the, uh, on, on the above. We've got another layer below this. So if we go in here... We've got ourselves some sneaky tunnels. Look at that. Just, uh, just hidden. Nothing really happens down here. They're more just kind of waiting to have some stuff done to them. I've obviously hidden light in to make this look a little bit more spooky. Uh, I actually don't... I, I get somewhat lost because I thought I could go this way. 
Oh, here we go. <laughs> Getting lost in your own tunnels. It's great. It's great. So, <laughs> there we go. We can get out, and this should come out into the bakery, I think it is. Yeah, the bakery up here. Great. So, these are little things that I like. I like these smaller things, which uh, bring a bit of life into the city. And then, obviously, we've got these ones here. Let me show you some other things. We've also got some other tunnels on this side over here, which I'll go into, and I want to connect them at some stage. And I feel that maybe this, this uh, cavern that we're building, could connect up to these tunnels. So if we go into this one here, our first ever real big house, uh, we'll go down here. And we've got a area over here which we're going to connect up to these new houses, which just coincidentally lines up perfectly. There we go. There, and there's a house up over there. Then, the last little bit of tunnel is down this way, which is... Probably the most spookiest, and I am waiting for me to run into a mob down here at some stage. I think I have already just a zombie or something, but one day a creep is going to pop out of me, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be a bad time. <laughs> and that comes into here, which also has tunnels over here. Come on, you can kind of see them I'm just glitching out. There we go. There's the tunnels, and uh, this over here is actually glitched out with the same issue we had with the other observers last time. So that's something we'll have to do. But yeah, this is like a whole maze of tunnels. It's just little things that I love adding into the village or town or city or whatever you want to call it. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. And also I enjoy I enjoy doing it. I enjoy when I come back to it just like that. And I get a little bit lost inside of them because I haven't been there for a while. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out a bunch of land down there. We're going to start getting a little bit of terraforming going on underground. Which is something I haven't done actually properly. Just terraformed underground areas. I've terraformed overground stuff such as that there uh, but nothing underground and I think this will be a little bit of fun okay guys we're back and I've done a lot of stuff in on that area there but before we get going any further uh, I'm gonna need to get myself a better axe because what happened in our last live stream uh, we lost our axe we could have lost a lot more but we just lost the axe and uh, I think we got away a little bit easy with that so I'm gonna put that axe in there it's got uh, efficiency 3 and I'm breaking 3 on it Pretty good axe, I must say. Uh, it gets the job done, but not quite as fast as we needed to. Of course, we may as well do a, get a really, really good axe. We can. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few enchants. You can see we've got a bit more experience on us right now. We should be able to get some stuff done. Let's see if we get any lucky things, though. That's the only, only thing that's going to hold us back. Let's do two of these and see what we can get. I've also got a few other enchantments, which I would love to add on to it. And uh, those are on books, so we'll go there. What have we got? Efficiency 3. I'm willing to take that gamble if we have ourselves some lapis, of course. So, let's see. If we get anything good with that, that's extra good. Fortune 2. Okay, maybe that's not too bad. Efficiency 3, Fortune 2. Uh, we we do have efficiency... Was, did I get efficiency 3? Yeah. Uh, we do have efficiency 4, and we got two of those. Maybe I'll just give another one a go, just to make sure that we don't have... Uh, don't have a good enchantment just waiting for us there, so we'll do that. Grab that out and see if we get any any lucky ones here. So there, bam, efficiency three. You know what? I'm not even going to waste that enchantment. We'll we'll keep this one here. So we've got an efficiency three over there. We've got an efficiency three over here. So that'll make us an efficiency four. And then I also have an efficiency four book. So we'll be all right with those. We'll just send that back, send that back, and we'll take some of this stuff out here. And do we have space for that? No. Cool. Alright. So, that'll be pretty good for us now. And we'll just quickly add on a few other enchantments that I wanted to add on here. We've even got some more stuff which I'd like to add. For instance, looting. And you'll see where I'm going with this. Because axes are pretty damn good things. And I would like to use this axe because we've got sharpness on our sword. I'd like to get looting. And I would also like to get some... A, um, a smite enchantment on our axe. So, we've got 10 that way or... 14, I will take the 10. And we lo we, oh, we just lost ourselves the anvil. But that's alright, we can use our cannon, which we m built in the last episode, instead of an anvil. I'm sure that'll work just as well. I can't think of anything else, any other anvils that we have around this area, so we're probably going to have to just do that anyway. It's probably the, the easiest thing right now. And then we can go underground, and I'll show you the, the massive amount of work that I've done over there. So we'll put that in there, we can pop that in. Mending, very important. Cost 3, great. Then we've got our efficiency 4. We've got an efficiency 4 there. That'll take us up to efficiency 5. Yep, 
And then over here, we've got Smite 4 and Smite 4, which I'd actually like to make a Smite 5 book. And then pop that on there now. 13, we just don't have the levels. That's alright, we'll be coming back for those levels in any case. That's not a problem. Now we can go downstairs and we can show you what's going on here. Man, why, why have I not lit up this place? That'll be a, uh, a good idea just to keep a little bit of light here. Make sure we don't get a creeper jumping around, uh, jumping out at us. So down here, let's have a look at what I've done. I've dug out a massive area, and you can see we've got our haste three haste two beacon on over here, and that has made this job very very simple. So we've got our path coming down here, which is somewhat going to be hidden in the store, and I'm going to make this look as if it's a tunnel that's been sort of just supported and bored out as it's been as we've gone down in here, and it's kind of secretive, I guess, because I want this to be a little bit kind of enchanted and magical looking. But not too far, as I said. I think I mentioned it a bit earlier. I don't want it to be too far uh, crazy, like, magical. But I do want it to look somewhat magical. Oh, wait. What we're hearing there, by the way, if you guys heard that little, like, dispenser shot, there's uh, the chicken farms right there somewhere. But yeah, pretty much this cave, I think we've, we've got it looking more or less semi-natural. Like a, a natural cave that would actually spawn in Minecraft. We can get rid of stuff like that. You can see there's still a few blocks that we need to do. So we've got this big area here, which I was thinking would be the cavern area. And what I want to do here is I want to add in a little bit of nature. I want to add in a little bit of, of mushrooms and stuff coming from the bottom. So we can have like a big mushroom in the middle I'm picturing over here, which will be custom done. I'm not going to grow those mushrooms. I'm going to grow them for this stuff and then make our own custom mushroom. And then we can have a whole bunch of small things lying around there. I've also got nether quartz, uh, nether wart on us. And that will be really cool just to add along the path. But today I want to avoid this room for a little bit. And I want to go onto the path. And I'll tell you why uh, we will... Oh, you know what? I've actually just realized I did a, did a mistake on that uh, enchantment there. I wanted a silk touch enchantment on our, uh, our, on our axe. I knew I made a second diamond axe. <laughs> oh man, now we've got three. That's all right. Uh, so what I wanted to do was actually get a uh, silk touch enchantment there, which is all right We've got some more efficiency box books, which we can use to get a silk touch efficiency five That's not a problem and I just want to cover up that area in here to make sure nothing spawns there So we'll, what, what I'm planning on doing is stuff like that there you can I'm just wondering Can mushrooms mushrooms can grow on that stuff there, right? Can they grow on? This. They can. That actually looks kind of cool. I like that. I think I might just add in a few things like that. And then I'm also going to be smoothing off this path like this. So we'll be taking out some of those, some of those, and some of these. Just to make this path a little bit smoother. And kind of make it look a little bit worn down. But as I say, I, I want this to be quite natural looking. There. There. Maybe we'll take one of those away and pop in one of those. So yeah, they're already just looking a little bit more smooth and natural, and I'm happy with that. So we'll get out those, move those in there. And I'm also going to do a bit of te of um, texturing with it. So we've got ourselves some of our andesite and stuff like that, which I'll get involved at a later stage. We might have to have some sort of weird down pieces where we go down here and kind of have to swivel down, which I'm happy to do. I think that'll just add a little bit more to it. And we can get one in there just to, to get rid of that little hole. Uh, so for today, what I'm planning on doing is doing this coming up to here, and then as soon as we get in here, I want you to kind of get down and say, whoa, like, this is huge, this is awesome, and I, th I think it'll look pretty cool. Another thing, uh, we are very, very close, if I go down here, I think we might be able to see it. Uh, down here, you can see there's a tunnel, which leads right down to a very familiar place if you've been here from the beginning, which is our spider farm, which is just down here, let's, we'll, we'll go in it, <laughs> right down there. Look at it, it's ridiculous. That's our um, over-the-top redstone that we did in our spider farm. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into our... Back into that room that we were just in, and I'm going to add in a few things that in that tunnel and stuff like that, just to, to make it look a little bit more... More like what I wanted to look like. Man, this is... This place is really, really bad. <laughs> it, it's actually funny how terrible I decorated that room. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll get in there and I'll get going with a few more things to decorate the tunnel. Very different to the way we decorated that room, and I think that it'll turn out quite well. Alright, so now I'd like to show you guys what I've done here. Look at this. Just, uh, this is just sort of a concept thing. I haven't done the full tunnel, but I've been, I've been doing a few little bits and pieces around the place, and I'm just trying to get this sort of 
kind of dim lighting in here. Nothing, nothing too spooky, but like a little bit, a little bit of an interesting <laughs> kind of light level. Uh, I think things still will spawn a majority of these blocks, so we'll just have to be very weary when we're down here. Although I, uh, I certainly don't want to get rid of this kind of atmosphere that's being created here. So some things that I have done to do the lighting is I've pushed some glowstone blocks like way back and this thing just grew. That's perfect. That's what I'm looking for because once this grows a little bit more, uh, well, this is fully grown, it just kind of hides that a little bit. And for instance, over here, we've got one down here. And once that one's completely grown, I think you just wouldn't see that at all. So that's my plan. And then I've also gone ahead and I've textured a bit of the ground. I'm putting in a bit of grass every here and like here and there. A bit of uh, mushroom block as well every now and then as well just to make it a little bit more uh, natural looking in fact what I want to do is I want to check how this looks here yeah that can that can work we could do a few path blocks in here that'll be all right so obviously I've gone up to this level here and I'm planning on putting these supports but I'm not too sure whether I do like them or not like they kind of add on a little bit of something I think I think but I'll see how they how we go with them I'm not I'm not hundred percent sold on them but for down here, uh, by the way, I did try another enchantment on this, uh, on the pickaxe. We ended up getting two other pickaxes. We got this one here, which is efficiency four on breaking three, which is good if we get another silk touch pickaxe. And this one here is our old one as well that we just created a few minutes before that, which wasn't too great. But uh, we we had another one, which was pretty, pretty much junk. Uh, in here, uh, actually, I actually have to fix this up quickly because that's where we went down last time. In this room, I'm planning on doing that giant mushroom, as I said, and that's where a lot of these blocks have come into play. Now, I'm not too sure whether I am going to use these blocks, so I'd really like some advice here, if you guys have got any advice for me, because I'm not too sure whether I want to make this with these blocks over here, or do I want to try something new? Maybe if you guys have got a block in mind that would be kind of good for a mushroom block, that would be great. Something that looks somewhat mushroomy, I'd like to get some light coming from it, so I'd like to be able to hide some glowstone in there, at some place or somewhere, just somewhere in there. I'd like to hide some glowstone because it's going to be a fairly large mushroom. Nothing m extremely massive, but larger than larger than you would expect. And this is why I'm putting a bit of grass here, just because I think it'll be a bit more uh, magical if we put some grass down on the over here. Maybe we can put some of these. Yeah, just some some little bits and pieces around here. Uh, but we'll see how this comes out. This might not even be the way this is going to turn out. Uh, the other thing is, in the next episode, I'm planning on doing a trip to the mushroom what is it mushroom island is a mush mushroom island mushroom island biome and i'm hopefully going to be able to get us a mushroom to bring back here and then we can put, put like two mushrooms down here they'll be great but that'll be a big big job because when i looked on the uh like biome finder on one of those worlds i you know one of the uh websites i can't remember where it did i think it was seven thousand blocks in one direction, 7,000 in the other direction. It's it's a very long, long way that we're going to have to travel in the nether. That's about a thousand blocks in two directions in the nether, which is quite a long way. Uh, but we would be able to do that with bringing uh, mushrooms back. It'll just be an interesting, <laughs> an interesting trip to bring them back. So for today, guys, I know this episode might not be as uh, long as the others. I think we're going to be a little bit shorter than the rest. Uh, but I, I kind of can't do too much besides continue on here. In which case, I will probably... I might actually do a bit of this in a stream. So keep an eye out for that. We might we might just do a tunnel like this in a stream soon. So that'll do for today, guys. Hopefully you have got some ideas for downstairs. If not, I'm going to be uh, adding in my own mushroom ideas. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.